Good morning, boys and girls. This is our last day of the story, the wallpaper that talked. And remember, we met little Koto-san and her grandma, and they lived in Japan, and they were not very rich, but Koto-san went to a mission school where she got to learn about Jesus. Now, her grandma did not like that she went there, because she didn't like God or Jesus and she called the people that worked at the school foreign devils. So Koto-san never really wanted to talk about Jesus or God with her grandma because she knew that her grandma did not like them. But her grandmother let her go because she wanted her to get an education and the uh, people that worked at the mission school did a really good job with that. So. Koto-san and her grandma in their house, they didn't have any wallpaper up and Koto-san's grandma really wanted to get some wallpaper up in their house, but it was very expensive and again, they did not have a lot of money. So one day as they were out walking, Koto-san's grandma found a box of papers in someone's yard. So she thought, oh wow, these are beautiful papers. I want to take those home and put those on my wall. Koto-san's grandma did not know how to read. So she started putting the papers up on her wall and Koto-san started reading these papers and she realized that those were pages from the Bible and that's what her grandma was putting up on the wall. So Koto-san didn't want to tell her mom, hey, you're, or her grandma, hey, you're putting up uh, words from the Bible. So she just kind of told her one day over tea that the wallpaper was speaking to her. So Koto-san's grandma was kind of surprised, but asked, well, what is the wallpaper saying? So Koto-san would share with her the stories that were on those papers, like about Jesus and how he came to forgive our sins, and he had this love and um, forgiveness in his heart. So Koto-san's grandma had a, a feeling that she needed to go talk to the lady who she found the papers in front of her house. And the lady was a missionary. So Koto-san's grandma went to the lady's house and they sat down and she pulled out the Bible and started reading the stories because Koto-san's grandma was like, I want to know if this stuff is true. I want to know if there is a Jesus and he really loves me and can forgive my sins. So we're going to pick up today. Koto-san's grandma has come home and she and Koto-san are having a conversation. When Koto-san got home, grandmother met her at the door. Oh, Koto-san, what do you think I found out today? Our wallpaper is really the Bible. For a moment, Koto-san was frightened, but then she noticed the joy on her grandmother's face. And best of all, Koto-san, she hurried on to say, I found out that it is all true. No one else in all of Japan has wallpaper that talks. Listen, little Koto-san, run up and down the street, knock on all of our neighbor's doors. Invite the ladies that come to our house for tea and to listen to the wallpaper's good news. Isn't that an awesome story, boys and girls? So I have some questions for you. So I want you to think really hard because we're going to go back four days. In what country did Koto-san and her grandmother live? That's right. It was Japan. Now, what did grandmother want to buy for their home? Wallpaper. She wanted to buy wallpaper for their home. Where did grandmother get the wallpaper? That's right, boys and girls. She found it in a box lying in someone's lawn. Whose lawn was it? It was the missionary's lawn, remember? How did the wallpaper talk? Because wallpaper really doesn't talk. Like, my walls don't talk. Koto-san read verses from the wallpaper, which was the Bible, to her grandmother. So that was a really good story. And again, we see someone your age being able to spread the word of God to the people that they love. In our first story, it was our little friend who shared it with her friends. And here we see it's Koto-san sharing it with her grandma. I hope you guys have a great weekend, and we'll see you on Monday for another story.